Welcome to the Sacramento County Child, Family, and Adult Services Policy and Procedure Training on Employee Relationships with Regard to Referral and Case Activities and Confidentiality of Records. DCFAS understands there are times when an employee may hold a familial or personal relationship with a person receiving agency services. This policy addresses the process for employees when there is a familial or personal relationship to a person receiving services. DCFAS employees shall not provide direct services and or supervise the employee that provides direct services to a person with a familial or personal relationship to the employee. Relative. For the purpose of this policy, a relative is any person who is known to be related to the employee, whether by blood or marriage. Some examples are mother, wife, daughter, sister, cousin, domestic partner, father, husband, son, brother, nephew, ex-spouse, stepchild, aunt, uncle, niece, grandparents, child of an ex-spouse, daughter-in-law, son-in-law, sister-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law, father-in-law. An employee is considered any person paid by the county, permanent staff, a temporary employee, contractors or vendors with Sacramento County, volunteers or student interns, staff of an agency outside the department who accesses DCFAS records, and anyone granted authority to access DCFAS records by DCFAS management. Personal relationship is defined as any person the employee who is currently or previously was in a personal relationship with outside of work at DCFAS or a business relationship outside of DCFAS. Some examples of personal relationships are friend, former friend, neighbor, former neighbor, boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, roommate, former roommate, tenant, or ex-tenant. Please note, this also includes a foster parent or anyone who stood in loco parentis to the employee. Conflict of interest for the purpose of this policy is any activity or relationship which is, or may appear to be, in conflict with the employee's county employment or the department's interests. Inappropriate access to records is defined as any attempt to access referral or case records and information on the employee's part in which there is no departmental business need to access the information. Confidentiality of records. The referral and case records and information of all applicants and recipients of DCFAS services are confidential. Employees are only to access referral and case records and information to perform official DCFAS business. Referral and case access includes both electronic access and paper file access. Employees are not to access or request information on referral and case records involving themselves, relatives, personal relationships, or coworkers for any reason, including for the purpose of administering services. An employee shall not request another employee to access inappropriate information for the employee, and an employee shall not knowingly access referral or case records for another employee. If an employee accidentally accesses the referral or case of any person known to the employee, such as a relative or personal friend, the employee must immediately close out of the referral or case and send an email to the employee's supervisor and program manager prior to the end of their shift, explaining what happened. The employee shall request the file be marked as sensitive. All accidental accesses will be reviewed by the program manager and referred to the division manager, deputy director, and director for further review if necessary. Over the next few slides, we'll be going over the action that staff should take for referrals or cases involving a relative or a close relationship with an employee. Staff are not permitted to accept documents on behalf of the department from relatives, persons with a personal relationship, or coworkers for any reason. Please note, any document accepted by an employee related to an applicant or recipient, referral or case, is confidential and considered part of the referral and case record. If a staff member is contacted or presented with documents from a close relative or a close relationship, staff is required to ask another employee or supervisor to assist that person. 
If staff are assigned a task, employees are required to email the employee's supervisor and program manager so the task can be reassigned to another employee. If an employee picks up a phone call, the employee is required to put the person on hold and transfer the call to the employee's supervisor, and the supervisor will notify the program manager. An employee as an applicant or a recipient. Employees are not to access their own records regardless of the status of their application or their case. A referral or case transfer. An employee is to report a relationship information to the employee's supervisor and program manager so the case can be transferred. The supervisor is to designate sensitive status in the electronic case file in accordance with the Child Protective Services and Senior and Adult Services policies and procedures and move the hard file from the employee's work area pending transfer. When possible, you should transfer to another county program unit when employee works in the same program as the assignment. If not possible to transfer, the program manager will email the division manager explaining why the referral or case cannot be transferred. The division manager will make the final decision. Staff are not permitted to use a position or authority to advise on cases that they are not assigned or cases where there is a personal relationship existing. The action that you should take for a referral and case involving a relative or close relationship is exercising care when advising DCFAS requirements to avoid providing information in which intent is to circumvent rules, regulations, or bypass program protocols. The following references were used in the writing of this policy. The County of Sacramento Information and Technology Acceptable Use Policy, the California Government Code Section 11019.9, the California Welfare and Institutions Codes, and the 45 Code of Federal Regulations. If you have questions regarding this policy, please consult with your supervisor. If there are additional questions, you can email dcfas admin policy and procedures at satcounty.net. Please make sure you put employee relationships with regard to referral and case activities in the subject line. Thank you so much and have a great day.